everyone. This is Deborah Rue, and you are listening or watching Human Potential at Work. Today, I have one of my regular guests. So uh, Doug Foresta uh, joins us again today, and I always, always enjoy having conversations with him. So Doug, welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Deborah. So yes, today we're going to talk about how do we join efforts to improve the world, right? So say a little bit more about that. I mean, I know that, you know, not no one of us can actually do everything. So say a little bit about that, that joining of efforts. Yeah, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot because um, I, I always think about how can I make a better impact? How can I make, um, how can I make the world <clears throat> a little better place? And when I say the world, I'm looking at it from so many different lenses. But I, I was just thinking about the other day, I was, um, my husband loves the news and he was listening to the news and I was overhearing and I was watching and I started worrying about all these things that were happening, you know, the flu, the, the, the norovirus, which both my family and your family got. Um, you have the coronavirus. There's, there's just so many things coming at us. And I think sometimes the media is bringing it to us in, in such intense ways because if we're afraid, we are easier to control. And I'm not saying the media wants to completely control us because, you know, we're sort of part of the media too. But I, I do think there is some of that fear factor, you know, be afraid, be afraid. And so I thought, well, how do we make a difference? And how do we add value? You, do you have to go and create your own company to do that, Doug? Do you, do you have to get your PhD? Do you, how do you really add value to things that matter to you deeply as a person, especially at times that are so intense and at times where we just feel like the, sometimes what we're doing is not enough. 